Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we can see how we can create a user in a show. So one of the main use case for creating a user is, for example, consider there is an organization and there is a new employee joining that organization. So for that employee, you can create a user in a show. Uh, you can consider this user as a, like creating a user account with an username and password. And that user can use this username and password to log in into the show. And if you are giving any kind of permission to us, your subscription or resource group to that particular user, then user can use this username and password to log into that show and he can use the services or resources that he has to access. So let's see how we can create that. So to create this users, we need to use Azure Active Directory. So as you can see here, I'm in the Azure portal and there is an option called Azure Active Directory over here. So if I click on this, so as you can see here, I have an Azure Active Directory with a name called Mr. K Talks Tech Dev. So Azure Active Directory is something called as an identity access management tool. For example, managing the users uh, who is part of this organization and also implementing other uh, security elements like creating the security group, service principles, and all other stuff. So in one of the previous videos, uh, we have used the Azure Active Directory to create a security group and using that security group, we set up the access to different users. So if you haven't watched that video, please do watch that. So you'll get some idea about what is Azure Active Directory in general. Cool, so to create a users, as you can see here in the left side, you have an option called users. So if I click on this users, so you'll be seeing like what are the different users that are added into this account, which is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev. So right now I have two users, one is Kishore Kumar and other one is Mr. K Tamil. So these two user accounts has different email IDs. As you can see here, uh, the Kishore Kumar account's email ID is mrktalkstech at gmail.com. And for Mr. K Tamil account, the email ID is tamil.mrktalkstech at gmail.com. And one of the main things to note here is the first one, which is the Kishore Kumar account, as you can see here, the user type is member, which means that this user is part of this organization. So the organization is something like the name is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev. For example, consider a scenario, you take Infosys as an example. In Infosys, if there are like 1000 employees, all the 1000 employees belongs to that particular organization, which is Infosys, right? So these 1000 employees are member of that company. So for example, for Infosys, if you have this kind of a, a organization account, you'll be seeing that 1000 members and all the thousand members user type will be marked as member, which means that they are part of that organization. And the other thing is like, as you can see here, the Mr. K Thamil account, it is the guest user for this particular account, which is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev. Consider an example, there is a startup which is helping Infosys to do a particular project. So for example, that startup company is having 10 employees and these 10 employees needs access to the Infosys subscription and resource group. So for that scenario, the Infosys uh, team members, what they can do is they can give guest access to all these 10 users from that startup company. So that is called the user type as guest. So in this video, let's see how we can create a new user as part of this organization, which means that we are going to create a new user of type member. So to create a new user, you can go to the top left and you can click on new user and there will be an option to create new one which we discussed before. The create new user is the one of the type member and you can invite external user who belongs to other organization as a guest to this account. So in this video, as I mentioned before, we are going to create a new user. So I'm going to click on this new user. As you can see here, there are two options. Since we want to create a new user, we are going to use this option called create user. And the next option is identity. So the first one is username. We can give a name like, uh, for example, Achit Kumar. Cool. So I have given a username called Achit Kumar, and this is a domain name. For instance, considering our previous example, this is like uh, infosys.com or something like that. Ajit Kumar at infosys.com. So in this scenario, our company name is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev. So it would be like Ajit Kumar at Mr. K Talks Tech Dev dot on Microsoft dot com. And you can change this domain name and stuff, but I'm not going to explore this in this video. Okay, so we have given the username and now 
we have to give the full name so for that we can give Ajit Kumar and the other ones are optional so we can give Ajit the last name should be Kumar cool so now we have given the identity of that particular user now we need to give the password so as you can see here the password uh, we have two options so here if you want to create a new password by yourself you can use this or you can use the auto generated password so I'm going to use this auto generated password as you can see here I can copy this password so when a new employee joins in the organization you have to give this initial password and also the username to log into the Azure and access all other services and stuff so now we have given the password and the next step would be groups and roles so this is like assigning a different kind of groups to the particular user that we are creating so we have already seen this in the last video uh, for example you can add this user Rajit Kumar to any of the groups for example if you have a group called uh, dev uh, security group which belongs to all the developers so if you add this user to that developer security group then uh, this user will have access to all the resources uh, where the security group has access to so for example I have a security group called dev group so I'm going to click on this which means that now this user will get added to this security group now this user Ajit Kumar will have access to all the resources where this security group is given access to which is really cool right so you can have multiple security group right you can have a group uh, called developer group you can have a group called a uh, tester group so based on the uh, new users job title you can add that particular users to whatever the resource group they are allocated and stuff which is really cool so now we have added the uh, group to the users and the next step would be the, some of the settings we have the block sign in usage locations so we can uh, specify the locations and stuff and also you can give information like the job title department company name and also if this particular user is having any kind of manager or a TL you can specify who's the manager for these uh, this new employee so I'm not going to fill any of the details over here so the only required thing is the username name and also getting the passwords cool so now we have given all the information so I'm going to click create so as you can see here the user has been successfully created and also it has been added to that uh, security group as well so if I hit refresh cool as you can see here the user that we have created recently has come through and one thing to note here is uh, as you can see here the user type is member which means that this Adit Kumar the new employee is part of this organization which is Mr. K Talks Dev so now what we can do is we can provide this username and password to the uh, new employee who is Ajit Kumar and he can use these credentials to log into that show and since this Ajit Kumar is added to the security group so he should be ha having access to all the resources and uh, the subscription where the security group has access to so let's test this out so I'm just going to copy this um, username and what I'm trying to do is I open a new incognito window and I'll try for portal.su.com so I'll just paste the username for this and I'll click next so it is asking for the password I have saved the password and if I hit sign in cool for the first time we need to update the password so I'm just going to update the password so I'm just going to paste the current password and going to give the new password cool so I'm pasting a new password confirm password and I'm going to sign in now it is asking for the two-step authentication and stuff so we don't want to configure this so we can click on ask later and let's click on is as you can see here we are in the Azure portal now and if I click on the top right and click on switch directory so as you can see here we are added to the directory Mr. K Talks Tech Dev um, which is our directory Mr. K Talks Tech Dev so now uh, this user Ajit Kumar at Mr. K Talks Tech should be having access to the subscription that we have which is Azure subscription one and he should be having access to the resource group as well since this particular user is added to the uh, security group uh, the dev security group 
So he can just go to the resource group and have access to all the resources and he can just start working on that collaboratively with the other developers. So I think now you have an idea about like how to create your new users for, from scratch using Azure Active Directory. So in the next video, let's explore how we can guest an user who is part of another organization. So I think that's it for today. Uh, if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for listening. Uh, see you in another great video. Until then, cheers. Bye.